Keep in, keep your eyes down. Do you want me to eyes. zoom it in? Come look. Yeah, a little bit more. A little bit more. In? Yeah. Right there. Okay. That should work. Okay. Okay. Our first attempt at a YouTube video. Um, we're checking shift solenoids for GM Chevrolet 4L60E transmission. There's always these videos about how to check a shift solenoid and none of them are really conclusive. And some of them require a special GM tool to test the part. This is what I came up with. Everybody says your ohms are supposed to be between 19 and 24 whenever everything's cold. It's set all, set all night and then I pulled them out this morning. So they're both nothing, nice and cold. I'm reading 21 ohms. It's just these two little connectors in the back. You can sit there and touch them with a piece of wire to your ohm meter and they both check fine. So the next test is to supply power to them and see if they shut off the flow. So I came up with this. It's pretty simple. Right now they pass air. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Both solenoids are the same. One two shift solenoid, three four shift solenoid. Both pass air. When you supply power to them, the air supply should shut off. Well, fluid supply. So if you have a spare connector, you can just snip the wires and use it. I did not have a spare connector, so I made a couple of my own. Get this hose back in there. I'm just using a battery charger to supply air. Fuck up my ground. If I didn't support this this way, I just drag it off the table. So, get your hose ready. Kick your battery charger on. That one's working fine. Try the other one. Change everything over. This one up. I suppose if a guy wasn't careful, he might shock himself. Here we go again. That one's working. So, it's not my shift solenoids. So, on to the next step. That's a bummer. We'll try the torque converter solenoid at some other point. Thanks for watching. Bye.